uh, hi everyone in this video we'll talk about compound interest so let's take example suppose if we have dollar 100 and the interest rate is 10 percent so to understand compound interest we need to know how how much how frequently the interest has been compounded so let's take first the example of one year compounding so there here it's compounded every year so uh, what does it mean so suppose um, uh, we have to first let's calculate the interest rate for hundred dollars for one year so ten percent of dollar hundred so that will be equal to ten divided by hundred multiply by hundred so that will give us ten dollars so basically what it means is that after one year so suppose if we have this timeline and uh, we start with 100 so after one year this will become 110 so this is one year and this is time this is dollar and this is time t is equal to zero and this is t is equal to 1 now what will happen after two years so to calculate the interest after two years we have to take 110 and then take the 10 percent of it so 10 percent of 110 will be equal to 11 so remember that in the first year we only made 10 dollar interest because our initial investment was hundred dollars but now the initial investment has increased to 110 and now 110 uh, on, on 110 we have to get another interest of 10 percent which will give us 11 dollars so we will end up with 121 dollars right so so this was compounded yearly so this calculation was done after one year so one year we assume it to be a simple interest and then after one year we took this as an initial investment and then we again assume it to be a one year simple interest at 10 percent and we end up with 121 after two years now at the end of the two years we again have to assume this as an initial investment and then calculate the 10 percent so the 10 percent of 121 which will be equal to 12.1 so we'll add, uh, we'll add 12.1 into it. So that will give us um, 133.1 dollars. So this is how the compound interest works. So just for the comparison, if this would be a simple interest, so this is compound. If this would be a simple interest you would have something like that so this will be dollar hundred hundred ten um, then hundred twenty and then hundred and thirty so this is T is equal to 3 so if you look at the difference the difference um, is equal to 133.1 minus 130 so that is the difference of three dollar and ten cents after three years so if you look at the formula for uh, compound interest it will look something like this so p n this is the principle after n year is equal to p0 where 1 plus r raised to power n where n is equal to uh, time or number of years and uh, r is equal to interest rate so if you're interested in how we come up with the formula i think it's important uh, it's very straightforward so suppose if we start with p0 right 
so p0 um, so this is p0 and and when we have to calculate p1 what we have to do is we have to say p0 multiply by r multiply by 1 so this is pr right so and then we have to add p0 into it so this is interest and this is principal so that will end we will end up with p0 1 plus r so if you look this formula is very similar to this one right but this is only for one year now if we have to calculate p2 so in this case we have to say p1 r plus p1 right so that will again give me uh, p1 into 1 plus r so now you can see that i have added 1 plus r one more time right so if we convert it it will become p 0 1 plus r square so why do i have square because it's p2 right so if we do it in the similar way we will end up with pn is equal to p0 raised to power n so this is how you calculate the compound interest uh, plus the principal in the end right now this was uh, only compounded for one year so suppose if we compound it for uh, six months then how will we do that so suppose if you're uh, you're investing for two years and uh, interest rate is equal to um, five percent for every six months now because we have uh, 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 two years so the total n will be equal to four in this case not two because this is compounded every six months so we will have a formula like this one plus zero point five is to power four multiplied by principal and that will be equal to interest right so i hope uh, this uh, helps and uh, uh, look for my next video in that one we will talk about uh, how we can calculate um, the different compounding interest rates so suppose if, if you have one year compounding and uh, instead of one year co compounding you want to convert into um, one month compounding then how will you do that so i hope to see you there and uh, thank you for your time